What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Minhunter Comics. Are we, as comic book collectors and enjoyers, a little bit too harsh? Are we too critical of movies, TV shows, video games, and comics? Long story short, I believe we are. And I think it's something that's evolved in more recent years, and I think it's tied to social media and outside influence. We're going to get into it today. My challenge to you is write one thing that you really liked about a project that was critically panned. Maybe X-Men 3, maybe The Eternals, something that you just really enjoyed. We're sticking to a very positive approach today. Also, don't forget we got that 25,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. You're going to win a slab and a raw copy of Son of the Demon. So where are we in the MCU? We just wrapped up, what, Phase 4 and we're now getting into Phase 5? Or Phase 5 is on the horizon? Phase 3 ended and a lot of people felt like it was a peak. You had Infinity War, you had Endgame, a lot of the movies coming around and that pocket of time made everybody happy. Now we've got things coming out left and right and some things I think are quite good but still are getting panned on Instagram and YouTube. And I do actually believe there has been been a slight dip in the quality. I thought the CGI in Moon Knight was rough. She-Hulk as a whole was a little bit mediocre. I thought Falcon and the Winter Soldier was a bit rough and uh, unclear about what it wanted to do. But to say that I wish they never happened is ridiculous. People love those shows, and I'm glad that they do. Let's rewind to 2008 when you got Iron Man coming out shortly after you had Captain America, Iron Man 2, you had the first Thor. Those movies were so exciting that they were even being made that the faults that those movies had, we were happily overlooking because you know what? They just made a big screen Captain America movie and Thor, and this is amazing. And now we've got an Avengers movie coming out. This is crazy. Everybody was happy, even though I think arguably a lot of the movies got a lot better than that phase one. Over the last decade, we've had so many good things. Game of Thrones, we had new Star Wars movies coming out, and all this crazy geek culture, huge moments. And yet, so many people are so unhappy. People are at the point where they're nitpicking everything left and right. I think maybe we've come numb to the fact that all these superhero movies come out, and maybe through each project, our standards get a little bit raised and we expect maybe a little bit more out of each one. You know what? Look at the movies we had back in the day. Look at Ghost Rider. Look at the original Ben Affleck Daredevil. We've come a long way, and the movies that we make fun of now, I think, are notably higher quality than some of the ones we used to have. But more people are complaining. And I think part of that is because it's fun to complain. Even I admit it, we are human and we've had social media for quite some time now. People love to hop on the internet and really just ruin people's days, unfortunately. People put a lot of work into these movies and you know what, if you don't like something, it's really easy to go ahead and just say something terrible about it. I have absolutely done it myself. I'm sure after this video airs, I will find some deep opinion about really disliking something and I'll probably express it. I don't like Damian Wayne. Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie ever made. The final act of Shang-Chi was a massive letdown and CGI nightmare. Captain Marvel is the worst MCU movie. Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PlayStation 5 is boring, predictable, and felt like a DLC to the first game. The most disappointing movie I've seen in my entire life has to go to The Last Jedi. Where does that come from? Because I, I didn't used to have that. It's social media, man. We're all apparently critics. People go to school for and learn about journalism in order to become movie critics, but everybody's a critic these days. So one of my challenges going forward is I want to stay more grounded. I want to watch things as they are, formulate my own opinions, and if I don't like it, whatever. I don't like it but I don't want to pan it anymore. I want to get back to that sort of childlike state of just shock and awe that a project like that was even made in the first place. It was more fun then, believe me. When we were able to suspend our disbelief about so many things, we were just allowing ourselves to simply just enjoy it as it is. Now everything's got to have such a deep meaning or the tone's too dark or the tone's too funny or whatever. We could pick apart anything and everything. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Thor 2. A lot of people don't like that one. I was still in that state of, wow, I, you know, it wasn't amazing, but I'm glad I watched it. Hey, we got Malekith on the screen. That's pretty cool. I just took its faults. I understood them and I moved on. Now, 
I've hardened to the movie, and I think it's maybe worse than it is. I rewatched it, and I was finally able to get myself back into that enjoying it as it was, because I let go of all that, here's what everyone else says about it, so this is what you need to think about it. Once you can get rid of that, you can really enjoy stuff raw and as it was intended. I saw the new Ant-Man movie, which was, if you don't know, critically panned. You're looking at like 40, 50, sometimes 60% ratings on a lot of the review sites. I saw it with my fiance and a friend, and we had a blast. I got such huge laughs out of that movie, and I liked the pacing. I, li I liked so much about it. I would have probably given it like an 8, maybe a 9 out of 10. So you got to be able to formulate your own opinions and not be swayed by the internet, really, man. I don't like this push that I keep seeing, which is a lot of comments in my videos, on other videos, just talking about how bad things have gotten. And it's like, I don't know, there's a couple things that aren't as good, but hey, we got WandaVision, we got Doctor Strange 2, which I liked. A lot of people were disappointed over this and that. Take it as it was, it was a decent movie. We had Spider-Man 3, which was great. There is stuff out there that is excellent even, and we're just allowing ourselves to just get stuck on this train of hate, man. Don't be a hater. It wears you down. Um, like, I have been pretty vocal amongst, not so much on the channel, but with my friends about how much I really, at the time I would use the word hated. Now I just say, you know what, I don't like it and I don't have to watch it. But the Star Wars sequels, you know, The Force Awakens through Rise of Skywalker. I have been spouting on for now years about how disappointing I found them and how much I hated them and they just bugged me so much. But the reality is I didn't like them. A lot of people don't like them and I can just choose to not watch them. I don't have to destroy someone else's version of it. I would find people that enjoyed the movie and I would tell them that they're wrong. That's ridiculous. And I'm starting to notice that that is ridiculous. And that was just that whole internet Instagram, YouTube thing of just, we have to attack the thing that's not so up to our standards. Come on. A lot of people are upset by some of the comic books coming out right now, but the thing is, some of the writing quality, and I think certainly a lot of the art quality, is kind of leaks beyond a lot of the stuff that we were used to when we were growing up. But people don't talk about that. People want to talk about the stuff that they didn't really dig, or if something was too woke. It's one of those paradoxes where I feel like everything's great and nobody's happy. Well, that's a choice, my friends. Let it go. Let all that hyperbole and fluff about how terrible things are out of your vocabulary and you will find yourself in a state of enjoying these movies again. I will end on a positive note. I am extremely looking forward to DC's new massive reboot of movies. I think James Gunn is going to do an excellent job, and even if the movies are mediocre, I am glad that they are happening. So let's pop some positivity down in the comments to end us on Friday this week. I will see you Sunday for the claim sale. Keep on hunting.